there no walk signals here. I can tell you that it says so on my LinkedIn. Penn College Wildcats. I believe they have wildcats in the state, especially since you're a cat person, Denise. Penn College Wildcats. Yeah. They, since this is a technology college, they might as well call it the Penn College Stray Cats. <laughs> Come on, you strays. It's quiet on this campus. There's an AMC Pacer. Should we take a look at those? Let's take a look at what they got. Yeah, they says it says car repair parking only. So this is like a late 90s Camry. I don't know what this is. And there's an AMC Pacer, Toyota 4Runner. Says Head East. Kareem Manhattan or something? I don't know what this is. This is all rusted out. Here it says vehicle make. It's Kaiser. Model Manhattan. It's Kaiser Manhattan. It's a Kaiser Manhattan. 1954. It says right there. Yeah. I wonder. Are you going to turn them all electric? I wonder how thick the sheet metal was they used on these. Hello, phone. I think you're still alive. I hope you are. All right, let's see. Wow. Oh, my gosh. The, the gauge on that sheet metal. Denise, knock on the sheet metal on this car. Why? Feel how thick it is. Oh, my God. The gauge on that sheet metal. This is like, like right here. See how it's all nothing but sheet metal? Knock on that. Feel that. That is way thicker than anything that's available today. I already knocked on this. Right there? Oh, that's what you got? Okay. They really like these uh, mid to late 90s Camrys. I'm going to pop the trunk on this one. What is that? A gas tank right there? Looks like it. What does it say on there? The emblem on the, de on the dash says Fraser. Fraser. F R A Z E R. And that's how thin that rim is on the steering wheel. You mean the, this? The rim is just thin. Yeah, the, the, the rim you grab, yeah, so thin. Okay. The yeah. wheel is huge and the rim is very thin. Yeah. There's like a wall of flowers. Do you could like go behind there and get your picture or something? I guess. Yep. Maybe. Is that, are those real flowers? Are they actually growing? Yes. They're not fake. It's a wall of flowers that's growing. I want to make sure you're not faking them. So these are real and growing. Is that right? These, is there soil? Yeah, there's some kind of soil something in the back there. And they are growing. They're growing upwards. And they're flowering. These are annuals. Look, there's a pickup truck with flowers in it. Auto restoration collision repair. We actually have to go around the front here anyway. Yeah, no, you can't go through that building. It's got a waterfall in the back. Look, the waterfall. Turn. It goes all the way through the bed and out the back. It's a dodge. It's got a tree growing in there.
so I'm guessing they do a lot of automotive stuff here. Where's all the Teslas? Where's all the electric cars? Ford Asset. I see an old late 80s Accord right up here. Back in the day, when they came out with this model, the Turn LXI right. was like the top of the line. It was like the most technologically advanced sedan there was. Like, it's got this exhaust out the side over there. I had this model Accord. Mine was an 89. Was it an LXI? Yes. Yeah, LXI was the one with the fuel injection. The other ones were carbureted. Oh, wait. Left. Automotive Technology Center. Oh, the and then I forgot they got they left they left get left behind on ice vehicles. Like this guy has an on-off switch on him. Him, her. Yeah, collision center, I think. This one's got some damage too underneath, you can see. Turn left. This is a super quiet campus. I think it's been abandoned because of the change over to electric vehicles now. They have nothing to do, right? What is that big rock? Crew Cafe. We can have dinner right here. Yeah. I think they all, they're all set up for us from the Chinese carry out. I guess this is the restaurant they were talking about up front. All right, there's the building we saw from the street. I don't think we can go through that way, which is why we're not going that way. Back to the supercharger. I hear water again or something. You hear there's something over there. Yeah, well, there's a waterfall. There's more water features up here that we saw. I tell you, I can see why college is so expensive. They spend all this money on these extravagant things around campus. And where are they getting the money from? I guess the students. You don't need any of this stuff. And they're probably all still learning about internal combustion engines here. Look at the topiary over here. Somebody's got to maintain that too. This is Penn College, though it says. Massive flag. Someone has to pay for that. Pay for all this. There's a fence down there between the sheets and that. Yeah. Turn left to stay on Hagen Way. They have like water pyramids. Someone has to pay for this. There's a bronze statue across the road. You see that? I thought it was a person. It's actually a statue. You see it right over there on the sidewalk?
And if all that wasn't enough, don't forget about this stuff. There's like a, pond, a big pond in here. Flowers everywhere. Look at all this. I'm gonna have to keep this all planted out. I guess for watering, hopefully they got a sprinkler system. But it just goes all the way down here. Another waterfall. Multiple waterfalls. Can you even see this when you're driving in? I don't know. The waterfalls are kind of hidden. Turn right onto Maynard Street. Is every college this elaborate? I don't know, I don't spend any time on college campuses.